Hey guys, it's Jessie and welcome back to my channel. I never filmed an intro for this video at the time for some reason, but uh, basically in today's video we're just going to be book shopping in London. Um, I'm going to take you guys book shopping with me and then do a little haul at the end. Um, I won't do too much of a long intro, it's very self-explanatory, but yeah, I hope you enjoy. So I just wanted to round out this video a couple of days later and give you guys a haul of all of the books that I picked up. Um, so I had such a fun time book shopping, I really want to do it again. But the first place we went was um, Forbidden Planet, where I was looking for two um, graphic novels. The first one being Sheets, which I've heard loads about and I think sounds super cute. And then the second was Laura Dean Keeps Breaking Up With Me. So I've heard good things like this, only really one recommendation, but I love the artwork inside. It's all black and white and pink, which I think is so pretty. And I don't know too much about it, it was in the LGBT section and I think it sounds really cool. I really want to start reading some more graphic novels. I think this one is also so pretty. I'm just actually obsessed with it. Like look at that. That is just stunning. So yeah, really, really excited to read this one. I think I'll probably save it for like a 24 hour readathon because then I can probably read it in about maybe like an hour or so. Um, so yeah, I thought it was so cute. And there are a lot of stuff in there, a lot of like other um, kind of like, I don't know how to say this in an honest way, slightly nerdy stuff, um, but obviously I was in there, so I enjoyed it. Um, and like Star Wars stuff, um, Harry Potter stuff, stuff like that. So yeah, unfortunately they didn't have sheets, which I think I will have to order on Amazon, um, but they did have this. Then we went to Foils, which I did actually know is actually owned by Waterstones, but they were doing a half price, half back sale, but I couldn't find anything in there that I wanted for that. But it's a really, really pretty bookshop. I was gonna pick up The Vegetarian, but then I realized it was on Kindle Unlimited. So I've just got it there instead. And then I picked up one that I've been, I hadn't actually heard too, too much about out until recently and I didn't think I'd be interested in but now I think it sounds like something I really want to read and I really want to read the second one so I thought I'd better read the first one first and that is The House in the Cerulean Sea and this has great reviews it's by TJ Clune it's meant to be like a cozy fantasy and I really want to get into fantasy so I think maybe cozy fantasy is potentially the way to go with that what I didn't realize is that my copy has a little bit of damage on the edge I don't know whether that was before or after so annoying anyway this firstly the cover is just so aesthetically pleasing but yeah really excited about that one then we went to a little shop called bookmarks which had kind of a lot of uh, non-fiction books i didn't pick up anything in there um then we went to dawn books i believe was the next one we went to i think yeah um after lunch we went to dawn books and what i really liked is in the back they had um the books organized by the place they were set so you guys know how i love my translated books at the moment so i went straight to kind of the japanese korean area and i picked up idol burning by rin usami and this is basically about kind of fan culture and this girl's basically completely devoted herself to um this idol that she loves and then he kind of ends up punching a fan and stuff so it's kind of her dealing with that um a very short one so i'm really excited to give this one a go i also thought the cover was really satisfying i love the colors and then i picked up one that has been on my tbr for a while it's got quite low reviews but i am quite interested 
interested in it. It's Fish Swimming in Dappled Sunlight and this is by Riku Onda and this is basically about a couple who go on this trip with this guide. They end up killing the guide, one of them does, and you're learning about it from two perspectives I believe and you're trying to like figure out which one's telling the truth and um, so that's interesting. And then lastly I went to Waterstones where they had their half price hardback sale again. I'd actually already pre-ordered a book to collect there. I was looking for the book of cold cases but that wasn't in the sale unfortunately and um, neither was Killers of a Certain Age which I also wanted to pick up. But um, we have Daisy Darker by Alice Feeney which I had pre-ordered so I picked it up there. I didn't find anything in there. To be fair me and my boyfriend were both exhausted at this point. We've been like walking around London all day and I feel like next time I go book shopping I want to just go to the Waterstones of Piccadilly like next time I'm doing it in London rather than going to all of them it's a little bit tiresome um and you do kind of get to see the same books this is also a really gorgeous like mustard yellow cover underneath um but yeah this is Alice Feeney's latest book and I'm very excited to give it a go I've heard mixed things um this is probably I think one of her least popular books um uh, but yeah I still want to read it and I picked up in a hardback because it was like eight pounds or something which is like basically the same price as the paperback so yeah those were all the books that i picked up in my book shopping with me in london video i really hope you guys did enjoy if you did not forget to give a like down below hit subscribe turn the bell to join a little club make sure you turn on all notifications then you'll be notified every single time i post a new video if you watch my other videos there'll be two on the screen now to pick from as well as a link up in the cards from earlier so yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye